All right, folks, we're getting ready to go stay at a yurt for the weekend. So we have a lot of stuff to pack. And as you can see, this place is just a humongous mess right now. And we got a ton of stuff to pack, but luckily through the magic of video editing, we're gonna make it real quick. All right, you ready? One, two, three. What is a yurt? A yurt is basically a heavy duty tent. It's a structure that originated in Central Asia. It was popularized kind of like in Mongolia and Turkey and different places like that. Way back in the day, they made it for more natural materials such as um, like a wood frame uh, that would be lined with animal hides or furs. And it would be a very warm, mobile space that that uh, people could raise their families in. And it was such an efficient structure that we've taken the concepts and we still use them today in, in Central Asia and all around the world, such as here in Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for Canada, it's a great way to experience camping when you, let's say you don't have the winter gear like us, we're trying to, we're trying a gear for the first time, um, which is a cool experience but not necessarily like all the way like a cabin. We get to experience a fall slash winter activities without freezing to death in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See you tomorrow. Yeah. See you tomorrow morning. Yee. The lake is just covered in a very thin sheet of ice. Because they were trying to break it and it didn't work so now he's like, I quit, I'm gonna walk. <laughs> Ducks clearly have no fear of people, probably get fed on a regular basis. Don't feed wild animals. <laughs> That's right, you find food yourself, the real food. And away they go. Wow, you can feel that? You see the one flew and then they all went after it. Oh, they made that one. That's so strong. They did it like a camera. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. You gotta break it. Yeah. Oh, these ones are about to take off. Yeah, are you cool? You're doing that. Best action head. There you go. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> that actually worked. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Ah, all right, we have made it to our yurt. We have snow. Close up of the snow. <laughs> Lucas, if you would. All right, so welcome to Algonquin Park, New Lake Campground. This is one of our yurts. We have two vinyl. Uh, bunk bed here for you to use. There's also a fluorescent light in the yurt um, and electric heat, as you can see. Whoa, so convenient. Electric heating. We have a shovel for We have a doormat! <laughs> a doormat! Yeah, it's, it's actually very warm in here with the electric heat, so it makes for a very comfortable sleep. We have our kitchen area. And you can cook outside. We have bunk beds! These stairs are like surprisingly really soft and We're off on a hike. Let's go. This is called winter green. And if you chew on it for just a little bit, it kind of tastes like the bubble gum. We'll do a better job. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it does taste like bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> Minty. Ew, now it tastes awful. <laughs> it was good for a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Isn't it? You feel it? Mm. That pink gum taste, right? Sure. And your breath feels it fresh does. now. And it only lasts 10 seconds, just like the actual gum. <laughs> 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 like the other plant that looks like wintergreen is called periwinkle. It also has 
shiny little green leaves, except unlike here in our native forest, it would take over everything and there would be no other plants. They're kind of like a vine, right? Yeah, and so they spread everywhere, they make a mat, and they have beautiful purple flowers, but they're just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and so they take over. They don't taste good, they look good, but they're bad for the environment because nothing else gets to live around them. Okay, back to eating wintergreen. <laughs> <laughs> Still taste that other leaf. Um, I don't believe the berries are edible, but they're not poisonous. They're more decorative. The cool part is the leaves, which smell sweet and minty and delicious. All right. And yeah, look at nice. Smell that. <laughs> How's that? Well, it's just excellent. <laughs> Tim takes them home. We'll pass it around. Yeah, pass it around. Oh, it smells pretty earthy. Here, your turn. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> soft tree. Ew. It's kind of satisfying, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like a tree at all. Yeah. <laughs> all settled in. We're gonna play board games, and we're gonna eat, and we have a heater, and it's comfy now. So I just want to show you the screen setup that we've got going on because we're gonna watch a movie and there's no there's no like TV in here. So uh, we decided to set up on the bottom of the bunk bed. We got these chairs for placing our feet so we can rest, um, and then we strap the screen <laughs> to the top of the bunk bed so that we can watch movies. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go watch a movie and we'll see you later. Bye. Goodbye. Wow. Sticky the worm. What the hell? That is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so toasty, guys. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we gotta hurry. It's raining. <laughs> Oh, what to do? Two, one, you're at life. Okay, it is our last morning here, so we are just eating breakfast and heading out. Uh, so Rahul, what did you think about your life? Would you recommend this to other people to try out? Yes, and for one reason only, bunk beds. You can put your tablet in the ceiling of the bunk bed <laughs> to watch movies at night. I definitely loved it um, for many reasons not being wet all the time, being a significant one. So yeah, if you want to be comfortable, it was certainly good to it. It was awesome. I'm glad that we didn't have to freeze <laughs> in the middle of the night. So it was really nice and toasty in here. And yes, we were dry because it rained most of the trip, so. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to not have to clean and pack up your tent afterwards and set it up when you first get here. And especially when it's been like, our trip where it's been raining like nearly every single day it means everything would have been soggy and gross and wet whether you're inside or, or, or whatnot when you're cleaning up and that would have been disgusting but now we just get to pack up and kind of like leave and not have to worry. We happen to have one with, with electricity as well which was very helpful for uh, having lights. <laughs> the, only, the only issue is we only have one outlet and the location is it's been boiling for a while. Bunk, you can see we're boiling some water right now. Very precariously. Very carefully, yeah. Yeah, very carefully balancing boiling water on 
on this little ledge. <laughs> what was it like living with each other in such a small space? Do, was there anybody that you wanted to vote off the island? <laughs> I was gonna say your <laughs> life is fun because we got to play board games. That doesn't answer my question at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and on that again. note. <laughs>